Hello everyone, welcome back to next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see one of the XPath logical operator and condition. So this can be used in your XPath expression to get more than one attribute values to be evaluated during your XPath found in your web page. Or not only your attributes of your XPath, we can use your display text also with your XPath methods. So there are multiple syntax that we can use for this AND operator. So it will be like we can start with relative XPath like tag name and the first attribute and its corresponding value. So to use your second attribute of that particular web element, we have to use AND condition. Right? This is the operator we have to use and then we can use the second attribute. So this is the syntax that we have to consider. There are few things that we can uh, consider while writing your AND condition. The first one will be, it is not necessarily mean that we have to use only uh, one AND condition in one XPath. So in any particular XPath, you can use n number of AND lo logical operator. So it, there is no limitations. So that is the first thing. And second thing is, it is not necessarily mean we have to use AND text. Instead of, we can use square brackets like this. So to, for two different attributes, we can use two different square brackets. So this is for first attribute and this is the for second condition. Okay. This is the second thing that we have to consider. And third thing is, we can use XPath methods. So like this, text contains or starts with, with your logical operators. And fourth thing is, we can use your XPath access also with this and logical operator. So how these conditions should be evaluated? So the conditions, how many conditions we are giving, all should be true. Then only the text path will be found. Otherwise, if any one of the conditions or all the conditions, if it fails, then the text path will not be found. Right? So this is the condition we should keep it in mind. Let's see some practical example. So this is a web page over here. This is the input of username. So this input has two different attributes. So if you want to use two attributes, then or three attributes, then we have to use and operator. Otherwise, if you want to use your display text with your export, then we can use text also. So let's take this how we can find it. It can be like this is the input tag where the attribute name has value text username so the, if you see it is a one of one so if you want to make this xpath more stronger then you can use and operator where you can use other attribute id it also has the same value right so if you want to use another attribute also we can use it so that is again we have to use and operator then what is the type it has? It has text. So it, it is like we can use limitless AND operator in this, right? So it is not necessarily that we have to use AND operator uh, text, right? So we can use square bracket also like this, right? It will be it, it can be found. So you can see the first operator for first attribute I have say I have uh, used one complete square bracket, and the second operator also we can use another uh, square bracket and for third one also we can use the another square bracket we can see it is found right so this is the very uh, minimal thing that we can use with and operator right so let's see some examples of how it works in this one right so driver dot find element by we have to use xpath expression since we have found xpath expression like this i want to perform send keys that is i want to type what is that admin that's all so let's try running this It has to launch and maximize the stream and it has to type the where we have found the xpath right so let's wait and see 
loading a bit late here yeah, you can see it is typing admin right so this is how it works actually uh, your and operator right in some conditions uh, like we have to use your and operator host free where your all name attribute has the same values for uh, three four fields only the id will be changing so in that case also in that case we are forced to use this and operator right i hope you learned something uh, new in this tutorial thanks for watching guys